I had a client that wanted to have a formal gown made with camouflage inserts and camouflage accents. So I start by making a sketch of the dress that my client wants to have. I've chosen a commercial pattern that closely fits the design of my client for her camouflage dress. I start with, as you can see, I have the camouflage fabric that's going to be the accent. We have the black satin that's going to be the base of the dress. Here I've taken the pattern and as you notice I folded the pattern in to cut down the fullness because she wanted her dress straight. So we're altering the pattern to fit her design. And I've done the same thing on the front and these pattern pieces will be cut out. Now we have to make the insert so now I'm getting ready to lay out the camouflage fabric to cut out the inserts. As you can see I'm using my infamous chalk pen and I have my yardstick laid out and I'm drawing the lines to make my inserts and at this there's no pattern for it I'm just pretty much guesstimating on this. I'm now cutting out my inserts. This is a photo of the insert and I cut two of these because one will go into each of the side seams of the dress. I've also cut strips for the um, straps of the dress because the straps will be made out of camouflage. My client also had a pair of shoes um, and they were the ribbon lace up shoes so you could change the ribbon out. So she wanted to have her shoes to be camouflage. So I've cut out strips that I will later turn into a ribbon type um, strip to go and thread through her shoes. I've got my bodice front and my bodice side front pinned together. As you can see, I have two bodice fronts and sides because one will act as a base for the camouflage. The other will act as a liner. I have sewn the bodice front and connected it to the side front. In this photo, I am now using a design technique to place the camouflage fabric onto my base so that I can get the pleated front that I want and my camouflage piece was cut on the bias so that it stretches across the bust. I have connected both um, the left front and the right front pieces of the camouflage onto my satin base. Here I have basted the camouflage bodice overlays to the satin base. I have sewn my straps and I used uh, my turning tubes, which I'll show you how to do that later to turn my tube so my straps are ready to be attached to the bodice. I've attached the lining and the bodice together and attached the straps. Now I'm trimming the upper part of the bodice so that I can turn it and press it. Here the bodice has been completely trimmed at the top and it's ready for turning and pressing. Now my bodice piece has been turned, it has been pressed and as you can see I've got my finished look of the bodice ready to be attached to the skirt. Here is my skirt pieces. I've connected my skirt front to my skirt back. I've connected the center back seams of my skirt back. As you can see in this photo, I have surged the side seams so that we don't have any um, unraveling edges. I'm now attaching my inserts to the side seams of my skirt front and back. Here's a photo of the insert attached to the side of the front as well as the side of the back. I have pinned my darts and as you can see in this photo I have stitched my darts in place in the back so that we can get a nice tailored fit. I'm now attaching my bodice to my skirt with right sides together. The bodice has been attached to the skirt so now we're going to insert our zipper. And as you see from this photo I have attached the bodice to the skirt. I've inserted the camouflage inserts on the side and um, my dress is ready for my client to try it on. I have completed all of the alterations my client has tried on her dress. The alterations have been done and she's got the look that she desired. In this photo she proudly shows off her nice strappy shoes that have her camouflage custom camouflage straps that were made to match her dress. 